This is the future. The future. Hello, Gibsonians. My name is Fritz, and I'm a monster from South Africa. Yeah. If you want to see how I was made, then stick around, and I'll show you how to create perfection. <laughs> Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel and what we're doing tonight is we are attempting to make a hand puppet for the educational channel for the kids so I have viewed a couple of videos on um, YouTube on how to make a doll and every time I try to make one it's a bloody disaster so I came up with my own idea so let me kind of share it with you I hope it's gonna be good so I'll tell you later what you're gonna need. So let's first get through the process because I already started now. So I took a cup, first of all, and then I've cut it like this. So this is to help with the profiling of the face. Uh, okay, uh, this is the other half. So just use a cup. A polystyrene cup is a bit more sturdier than a plastic cup. and cut it to size with the scissors no? then I took a piece of cotton like this and I cut the cotton according to the size of the sock and my idea now this is for the mouth is to take the cup that I've cut and to glue it on top of the mouth like this and I will show you once it's done why so I'm going to use this glue gun, the glue stick, because uh, it's, it's much quicker, it dries quicker and you can get your results much quicker. So let me first glue the cup to the mouth and then we'll take it from there. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like now. It's like this. So now when you use the puppet, you can do this and have much more better control on your doll. Okay, let me just quickly intervene here. The problem with the polystyrene cups that I found is that the space between your fingers and the top of the cup was too big. I was using Fritz now for a week and I had to actually put a piece of tissue in the cup between my fingers and the cup itself to be able to move the mouth. I was restricted with the movement of the mouth and that actually broke the cup. So I replaced the polystyrene cup with a, a thicker plastic cup and that seems to do the trick. Awesome! Let's go to step number two. Okay guys, so this is the sock that I was given, not by choice. So the next step will be to pull it inside out. So this is actually the inside of the sock. Then we're going to take our mouthpiece. We're going to put glue on the inside where you can see I've already tried it before. We're going to put glue in here. And then we're going to glue it on the outside like, like this. And we're going to let it dry. And then once that's done, we're going to pull the whole sock back over. I'll show you when we get there. Okay guys, now we've got the cup on the inside. It's glued and I just pulled the sock back over the mouth assembly. So now it's looking like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the fabric there and on this side just to give it um, a chance to open the mouth a bit bigger because you still have to add the teeth and as you can see uh, this is now the biggest that it's opening. Sorry, this is the biggest that it's opening so it's being restricted now by the sock itself. So let's quickly do that surgical maneuver <laughs> okay I've got the side of the mouth open now so I've got a bit more movement of the mouth so it's going to open up more so now I'm just going to take some glue and make this disastrous cut nice and neat 
this looks atrocious I tried to fix the inside of the mouth by gluing everything on the inside I'm going to show you how we're going to try and hide this now or fix it but yeah since it's a monster it might be part of the character look I don't know it's my first doll and so far it really is a disaster <laughs> at one point it looked like it had this real at one point it looked like it had this real kiss me lips <laughs> so the teeth didn't work at all so uh, now let's see if I can the problem as well is the mouth doesn't open up wide enough now and I don't know why but I wanted the mouth to open wider so that the teeth can work but uh, yeah, well, let's carry on and develop the, the doll and see how it goes I'm going to use this uh, oh my shit I'm going to use this red sheet of paper to create the inside of the mouth I'm holding the red paper like this folded it in half I'm gonna trace it, cut it out, and then use this for the inside of the mouth. Sorry guys, I actually forgot to take this video. Okay, so I took a plastic spoon and I cut the handle up in little pieces. And what I did with that was create da, 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 teeth for my ugly little monster. The teeth worked out perfectly, I must say. Uh, as you can see I took the red piece of paper and I took glue and it was pasted inside the mouth to hide all the places that I glued together it works perfect and then uh, the handle for the spoon makes perfect teeth and uh, I'll show you <laughs> the end result it actually looks not too bad and I tried to correct the corners with some glue the inside of the... oh fuck I'll fix that now the inside of the mouth looks better but yeah, the teeth is coming along. <laughs> okay guys, I proceeded by putting a pom-pom on the front for a nose and two pom-poms for eyeballs on the sides. So now we're going to put up the actual eyes and we're going to see if we can do that exactly facing forward. Even though my nose is already skewed. Okay, next up guys, I made two little marks here for the ears I'm gonna put up some, some ears for him and then it's just the hair and then our little monster will be complete <sighs> Maybe I'm too critical of my own work I think it's a disaster Other people think it looks cute so uh, you would drop me a, a, a comment and let me know whether you think it's a yay or a nay. Okay guys, the ears are on. And now for the last and final touch. The hair. Let's get his hair on. Okay guys, here is my crazy, crazy ass gremlin looking monster. I think he came out alright. Like I said, I'm very critical of my own work. But <laughs> actually enjoy this character he is quite insane uh, he's definitely something for the kids to look out for hopefully they won't want to be like him but yeah I had a small break in the cup at the bottom but at least it's not going anywhere it's, it doesn't matter if it's broken I can always fix it on later with maybe a piece of cotton uh, cotton roll or something on the inside we'll get to that when it's necessary um, but yeah this is my monster key. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up, because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcast if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where i do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email 
And on my YouTube front page, there is now a PayPal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.